Jews actually had legal representation in court at the time the order was made. The Attorney General was in court and ought to have communicated the order, the court order to the affected parties. An arguable point must relate to the ruling of the court showing that there is a possibility that the court had in law and the order could be overturned on appeal. I have not found such arguable points of law in this case. Um, one, the purported impeachment was null and void, it was of no legal consequence, and clearly this shows that I was illegally kept out of office. Secondly, there are individuals within the government who were condemned as contemners, as people who had defied the court order, and they felt aggrieved and said they had to appeal against that decision because it had far-reaching implication on their careers and the positions they held in the government. That is, the late Attorney General Nyombi, Peter Nyombi, may he so rest in eternal peace, uh, Frank Atumeba, the then Minister for Kampala, who is now still within the same government, Jennifer Semakula Musisi, the then Executive Director, and the, the lawyers themselves who came from the Attorney General's chambers, and a couple of others. So from this ruling, that position still stands, that actually they are contemporaneous, they are people who defied the court orders, they were held in the concept of a court order.